First at 10, a terrifying early morning attempted robbery has some West Midtown residents on edge. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carly Barnett. Atlanta police have not identified suspects, but they say it happened near a stretch of popular restaurants. Atlanta News First Yasmina Alston is live along Howell Mill Road in northwest Atlanta. Yasmina, what did the victim tell investigators? Well, Carly, the victim says they were approached in the parking lot by suspects wearing ski masks. Atlanta police say shortly after that, gunshots were exchanged. This Northwest Atlanta neighborhood was quiet on Sunday afternoon, but hours earlier, it was a crime scene. <coughs> Atlanta police say a person was shot during an attempted robbery. The victim telling investigators the suspects wearing ski masks approached the victim in an apartment complex parking lot and demanded items. Police say the victim refused and instead pulled out a gun and shot at the suspects who returned fire, striking and injuring the victim. Several residents in the area say they're concerned but not surprised. One former resident didn't want to be identified for safety reasons, but tells me these types of incidents is why she wouldn't move back to the area. There was a lot going on like in like the blocks like heading this way. We were getting like neighborhood alerts of shootings. Um, we actually had a few other friends move out of the neighborhood as well. Um, so when I was deciding what area I wanted to move back to, um, this was not at the top of my list anymore. She heard of the attempted robbery on Sunday morning. It happened near several popular restaurants, including Hattie B's Hot Chicken and Snooze. It's also an area where many people walk often. Especially, I mean, like, you know, you think you get home and you're walking your dog or something, you, you know, you don't really want to or you're nervous or you want to go where there are maybe more people around or have someone with you. Um, that didn't really feel so much as a concern before. And Atlanta police say the victim was taken to Grady Hospital and police tell us they are still investigating this incident. Live in Northwest Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. Yasmina, thank you.